Praise the Lord. Welcome to Kingdom News Now. We are so excited again coming to you this week with another Amen. I believe powerful program. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're just back to Rusty and myself this week. Mm, yeah, Amen. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, my wife Lisa is, is busy doing lots of things, and she ministered uh, this past Sunday morning on Father's Day and did a great job uh, there. But but uh, I asked her before we come in to record today if, if she was interested in it. She said, no, I don't think. I think I'm going to set this one out. Set this one out. Gotcha. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. uh, we've got a word for you today, I believe, uh, just for you, for your life, to draw you closer to God. Yes. Amen. We've got some kingdom news. New, yeah, absolutely. Amen. That I amen. believe will change your life and draw you closer to God tonight. Amen. Amen. Before we get into that, amen, we've got some announcements to make. Yes. Uh, actually, you and I both today was... In the studio, in the new studio, yes. uh, pulling cables. Yeah, that's right. Pulling pull, pull, pull. <laughs> camera cables. Amen. Getting them cables in. We are we are real close. And you're seeing some of the pictures and footage right now of it and uh, some other things going on. We've got the carpet laid. We're getting the platform uh, stage there finished and, and such. And so uh, God's moving. Amen. Amen. We're getting it done. Amen. Amen. It's getting close. Yes. Uh, yes. In fact, just before we went on the air today, I, I just mentioned to Rusty, I said, you know, the truth is is we could be in a new studio next week or the week after. Uh, we're not 100% sure, so there's one thing you have to do, and that's you have to stay in contact with us on our Facebook pages. Amen. That's right. That's because right. we are going to... Uh, we're going to announce as soon as we can. Uh, we might be in the studio by next week, or if no later than the following week after that. Amen. Amen. That God is God is moving and blessing, and everything is coming together. Amen, mm -hmm. and such. Yes. And so it's going to be nice. Amen. Amen. It it's is. going to be very nice. And you know what? It's going to be a testimony for ourselves. When Absolutely. We get in here, so. You ready for that testimony? <laughs> you know, God is doing great things, and sometimes God puts you on the spot and say, "Hey, yes. I want you to do this." And that's right. And we don't have any idea what to do. Exactly. You're like, <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> you know, and and uh, I had never built a television program before. No, no. <laughs> we started Kingdom News. Exactly right. And such and so. Uh, exactly right. Uh, we appreciate you being with us today, yes. and this yes. is like real close to our 500th program. Oh wow! Uh, it's not hardly 500, but it's close to Getting that. Close, yes. We'll get that up in the next week or two, and and let you know exactly where we are because I know just in the next few weeks we're going to hit 500 yes. and, uh, and such. And so we're, awesome. we're excited about that as well. Amen. But, but uh, I usually do this at the end of the program, but I think I'm going to do this now. Amen. We, we, we've got our coffee cups in, yes. and we want to make sure that you know about that as well and, and uh, that you can order your coffee cups. Uh, and if you are what if you're listening to us on the Gur radio station, mm -hmm, amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you an address, amen, that you can write to, amen, because you know you might can get it online as well. You can find us at kingdomnewsnow. dot uh, org, mm -hmm. o r g is our website, amen, and contact us through that, uh, or you can find us on Facebook at. Uh, facebook.com slash kingdom news now or facebook.com slash jack dilday and i believe it is facebook.com slash rusty wilson yes Amen. something like that something like that <laughs> you can google i not, not google but but search rusty wilson ministries yes. and you can find his page as well mm -hmm. amen so uh, uh and you can order by contacting either one of us yes uh, you can order the coffee cups and the uh coffee as well mm -hmm. And uh, the anointed, very good, coffee. The anointed brew coffee yes. from Coffee with the Pastor. Our good friend, Pastor Greg Gilberto from Poplar Bluff, Missouri, uh, has his own blend of coffee and is, is doing great with it. In fact, I just seen a while ago, he sent me a picture just a little while ago of his co new coffee stand. Yes, I seen did that. Did you see that? Yes, I Amen. did. His Amen. new coffee stand. Amen. I think we're you going can, to get one. <laughs> that's right. Yes, we're going to have to do something like that. Yes. Uh, North Point Coffee with the Pastor, uh, anointed brew. Yes. And uh, and all and so now Lisa said last week on the program it had a kick. Oh, it's got a secret little kick. Yeah, and uh, and she referred to like Greg Gilberto. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Because Greg's got a, he's got a little yeah. he's got a little kick to himself right. too. It's not he don't make it a secret. Exactly. <laughs> well, I gotta admit I haven't had any yet because yes. I'm waiting on the K cup. We have a K cup machine carried home, so right. 
We're going to, we're going to get them. <laughs> Amen. But you can do that. The information's at the bottom of the screen. Yes. It's been up there since yes. we've been talking about the coffee cups. Amen. You can just uh, you can send $25 uh, to uh, P.O. Box. I don't ever mail myself. Um, 924. <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> Kingdom I understand. News Now, P.O. <laughs> it's on the screen. But those of you listening on radio can't see the screen. Yes. So it's P.O. Box 924, Anderson, Missouri, 64831. Amen. And so you can contact us through that or through our phone number and or through, like I said, online. Amen. You can, uh, our phone number is 573-500-0874. Mm-hmm. And you can uh, give to text. You can you can text to give. That's it. Yeah, text to give. <laughs> text to give, not give to text. You can you can uh, text to give, and uh, you can find that information at phone number such as well on our amen. Facebook pages and on our website. So, amen. amen. Do that. Yes. Amen. Buy your yes. coffee cup. Remember, it's a reminder to pray for us when you look at it in the mornings. Pray yes. for Kingdom News now while you're drinking your coffee, yep. and then it is also a clock that tells you what time it is. Yes. Amen. It's time exactly. to testify. testify. Yes. Amen. So Amen. remember that. Amen. So Amen. you can you can do that. And take care of that as well uh, for a gift of twenty five dollars, and we appreciate that. Amen. All the funds, all the proceeds, all the proceeds from the uh, coffee cup and the coffee goes toward our new cameras mm-hmm. that we are in the pr- process of of raising the funds to mm-hmm. to purchase. And now we got, we're going. We do got pictures of the cameras yes, that we're going to. Yes. Yes. And so. and uh, hopefully you're able to see them as well. Yes. Uh, the new cameras that we're looking at, and uh, and so we, if we don't have the new cameras in by the time the studio is ready to open, Amen. We're going to use our cameras that mm-hmm. we have that we've used forever for Kingdom News now, That's right. and then as soon as we can get the funds together, we're going to purchase the new cameras, Amen. And so, uh, so we're not going to let that hinder us from getting no, in the studio. No. So do that. Amen. God will bless you. We know yes. that. Amen. He will bless you for that. Amen. We want to get into some word, uh, a little bit of scripture today. You know, we've been talking the last few weeks about won't he do it? Yes, won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it was a message uh, that Brother Rusty preached uh, a few weeks ago on a Wednesday night here at Exciting Little Word Fellowship Church. And uh, and God just 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 burnt something on the inside of us <laughs> yes. about that. Amen. Even yes. through that first original message mm-hmm. that he preached that night uh, on won't he do it, it's mm-hmm. not a question. No. It sounds like it would have a question mark at the end, but it doesn't. It yes. has an exclamation point. And, and there's a response to won't he do it. Yes. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. But the fact is we've got to, in our personal lives, be able to say, yes, he will. Amen. 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 There's, there's no question about will no. he do it. No. We know he will do it. That's right. That's so right. that's not a question to say, won't he do it, yes mm. or no. The, 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 only, the only thing about it is we have to know that response is, yes, he will. That's right. That's Amen. Right. Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. So we've been talking about that the last few weeks. Lisa was on a program with us last week and shared a little bit of her testimony about God touching her eyes and, and healing her eyes. We've got a couple more here in the church mm-hmm. that we're going to get on here. And I don't think either one of them are crazy about getting in front of cameras. Right. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's right. uh, we're going to. We're going to. We're going to coerce them, I yes. guess. We're going to help them. We're going to help them. We're going to help them uh, share their testimonies and exactly. such. And so what God has done for them just recently. Amen. And so we're going to do that as soon as we can get them here and, yes. and get that taken care of. So, so we can again present to you and let you know, yes, he will. Yes, he Amen. will. Amen. You're believing yes. for God, God to do something for you tonight. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Yes. Amen. So we've got some scripture. Yes. But Rusty, I think you're going to start over in Daniel. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk just a little bit about Daniel. Okay. D- Daniel, um, you know, he prayed before God. Mm-hmm. Even though when the the, uh, the people got the, the king to um, write that decree about anyone that would pray, make a petition toward any, yes. any God, that they would be thrown in Dan- Dan- uh, lion's den. But notice in uh, Daniel 6.20, and he says, and when he, this is after Daniel was put in the lion's den, and when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And he spake, the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God which whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the, the lions. And then Daniel said, 
Then said Daniel unto the king. Now notice what the Daniel said. This is the key point here. Yes. O king, live forever. He did not say, O king, die. That's right. Go to hell. He That's said, right. O king, live forever. He said, My God has sent his angel and has, sit, has shut the lion's mouth that they had not hurt me for as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I no hurt. Then was the king exceedingly glad. The king was exceedingly glad. There was a revelation That's that right. the king got. Was uh, glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no more, no manner of hurt was a found upon him because he believed in his yes. God. Amen. He believed. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Oh, Daniel, Hallelujah. servant of the living God, is your God, whom you serve continually, yes. able to deliver you from the lions? Amen. Won't he do Won't it? Won't he do it? <laughs> Amen. Yes. And Daniel yes. said, yes. Yes. He did it. He did it. Amen. And so we're telling you tonight, mm -hmm. today, whenever you're watching this, we are telling you that whatever your situation is, when it looks like, when it looks like you're before the den of lions, yes. and it yes. looks like they're about to eat you up, and your circumstances don't look good. Mm -mm. Daniel's circumstances, didn't, they looked no, kind of rough. Yeah. They was a little, they was Especially a little with lions, you know, yeah. speaking about lions. Yeah, <laughs> and, and so... Uh, you know, and maybe you're not facing an actual lion like mm -hmm. Daniel did, but mm -hmm. you're facing situations in your life or in your finances or in your marriage, yes. your family, uh, whatever it may be. You're facing situations and circumstances mm -hmm. that, that looks like there's no way out. That's right. It That's looks right. like it's either God or nothing. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it's going to be nothing. That's right. That's right. You know, well, I'm certain that when Daniel was thrown in that den, it felt like to him God was nowhere to be found. Exactly right. In, yes. his, in his flesh. Yes. In his flesh, I'm sure. Amen. Amen. So in your flesh, but we can't go by what we feel. Yes. In your flesh, it feels like everything's going down, that Amen. you're about to lose everything you got. Amen. Everything you've believed God for in the past. And everything you've seen God do for you is about to be over. But I'm telling yes. you, won't he, won't he do, do it? it? Another thing is, is there may be people speaking against us. Come on. And we can declare the mouths of the spiritual lions. Yes. The angels of God will close those spiritual lions with their tongue. Will not. Oh, I'll tell you. Come on. We're talking. We're, yeah, we're talking about Daniel lions then, but we're also talking about spiritual lions. Yes. That are trying to chow us down. The, the, the devil yeah. roams around as. As a roaring lion. Like, like as a roaring lion seeking yes. whom he may devour. But God will send his angels to close that spiritual lion's yes. mouth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, and we confuse that so often because we live so close in the natural realm. Yes. Yes. And we have to get to, and we talk about this a lot on this program. Right. But we have to get to that place to where we don't, we're not so focused on the natural mm. realm. That's we right. have to focus on the word of God. And the word of God uh, is not necessarily just to affect us in the natural realm. It's to get us to a place in the supernatural realm, Absolutely. in the spiritual Absolutely. realm, Amen. to where we can see God acting and moving in Amen. every single thing that goes on. Exactly. Amen. And, and not always respond naturally. Amen. Sometimes we feel like we have to fight a battle in the natural. Right. That's not what God said. No. No. We, God is the spirit. Amen. Jesus is the spirit. Amen. And the Holy Spirit, of course, is a spirit. Yes. So what we got to do is we got to fight spiritually by the spirit, not always by the natural. Because a lot of times we start fighting each other. Amen. Wrestle, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That's right. So we got to make sure of our battle. Amen. You know, there's another passage that I know you want to mention, Daniel chapter 3, talking about the three Hebrew boys. Oh, yes. Shadrach, Meshach, Sha and Abednego. Yes. Notice this. They would not bow. And they could not burn. Amen. Won't he do it? Amen. Now I'm going to read through this real quick. Uh, Daniel 3.16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. This is an answering of, will you not bow to my, yes. my idols? 
17 says, If be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver. He is able. Come on, he is able. To deliver us from the fiery furnace, fire, burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not. Come on. Come on. But if not. If not. Be it known unto me, thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, Amen. nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Even if the government wants us to do something against the word of God, Amen. we won't do it. Amen. It don't make no difference if, if they if make it, if they make it a law. Yes. If they make it a law. Amen. Amen. We're not bound by the word of God to no. obey that law. We're no. bound by the word of God to obey the word of God. Exactly what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Exactly. Amen. Amen. And and even if he doesn't deliver us, yes, they said. Even if we have to go through the fiery furnace, which we know the story, That's right. we know they did have to. That's right. And but he they de he he delivered them from the fire. Yes. And from the furnace. Yes. Amen. But they had to go through it. That's right. Amen. But he never left them. He never forsake them. Amen. He he was right there in the fire with them. Amen. 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 And and even even out of their own own mouth, own words that they spoke. That's right. Amen. If be it known that even if he doesn't right. deliver us, yes, we're not going to bow. That's right. No, we're not going to bow, and you can throw us in. That's okay. And if we mm -hmm. burn up, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's what they were saying. Exactly. If if the fire if the fire burns us and we're gone and we're we're in eternity, mm -hmm. then so be it. We're still not going to bow. That's a trusting no matter what. That's it. We got to trust God now, no matter what. Amen. It you know some people say, well, God will keep this from happening. Maybe He's going to move you through it. Come on, that's your test. We that's we right. have a the the theme is. It's time to testify. Yes. We have a testimony. Amen. We as the body of Christ have got to quit backing up from testifying. Amen. That's right. Because someone needs to hear what we have to say. What God has done. Won't he do it? We say, yes, yes he, he will. will. You cannot. You cannot. You can't. I can't. You can't. Mm -hmm. Nobody can have a testimony without a test. That's right. That's right. There has to be a test. Amen. There has to be a test mm -hmm. to, in order to have a testimony. That's right. Amen. So whatever you're facing, mm -hmm. just like Brother Rusty just said, you may have to go through the fire. Yes. Just like these boys did. Absolutely. You may have to go through the test. You may have to walk right through. Sometimes God deliver us, delivers us from it. That's right. But the majority of the time, see, we don't ever know. We don't ever know if he delivers us or not because if he delivers us, we never have to go through the trial. Exactly. Exactly. So we only know the trials and tests that we have to deal with that we have to go through. So if he doesn't deliver us from it, mm -hmm. then that's what we're having to face. Mm -hmm. And what we have to understand and know is that we're having to face the trial. Yes. We're not going to back up. That's right. We're going through it and that's we're right. coming out with victory. Daniel went through it. That's right. Shadrach, Me Shadrach Meshach, and Abednego went through it. That's right. This is showing that sometimes we may have to go through stuff. The people are watching us. Yes. And they're saying, how did you do that? Amen. Only God. Amen. Only God can. Amen. You know, I was talking to Brother Rusty before we went on the air about this, that sometimes God asks us and requires us to do things mm -hmm. that we never dreamed and we don't have a clue how to do it. <laughs> we don't have any idea what Amen. to do. But we know the voice of God. We know the leading of the Spirit of God. And we know He's leading us to do this. Right. And sometimes we just walk blindly into it and don't have a clue. And exactly. thank God for His mercy when we yeah. do that. Like Noah. <laughs> <Amen>. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like Noah. <laughs> In Genesis chapter 6, amen, I want you to build me an ark. Yes. And Lord, I, I can imagine the conversation. Now, the scripture doesn't, doesn't confirm this, this <laughs> conversation between God and Noah, but I can imagine the conversation that Noah and the thoughts that Noah had was, why do I need to build an ark? Exactly. Well, it's going to rain. Mm -hmm. Rain? Yeah. What's that? What's that? <laughs> you know, I've, we've never had no rain before. Well, it's water falling from the sky. Yes. Well, yes. I've never seen that happen before. Right. But God, <laughs> nevertheless, God said, build me an ark and fill it with the animals. Amen. Two by two. 
Amen. You know, put the animals in the ark. And, right. and, and, you know, did Noah have any inclination? Did he have any forethought, any idea of what God was speaking of? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe he did. Maybe right. he didn't. I don't know. Yes. But I'm telling you that for me, I think, you know, I, it would have been tough to have went to all the work and everything that God told him to do, told him exactly how to build it, mm -hmm. exactly what kind of wood to mm -hmm. use, exactly the size of it, and, and everything. And Noah took God at his word mm -hmm. for something that he'd never seen before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you and I, sometimes God will lead us in places that we've never been before. And he'll direct our footsteps and he'll direct our paths into things and situations that we don't know how we're going to get out of. Amen. And Amen. Noah suffered the ridicule of the people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, like, what are you, what are you doing? Why are you building a big boat? What, what's the purpose of that? Yes. Rain? What do you mean rain? Right. You know, the of the spirit alliance. What's a flood? Mm -hmm. You know, it's going to flood the earth. Well, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yes. We never had no rain. What are you talking yeah. about flooding? That's right. Amen. That's right. And so, you know, verse 14 of chapter 6 in the book of Genesis says, mm -hmm. Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Room shalt thou be in the ark, and shalt pitch in, pitch it within and without with pitch. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he goes ahead and he begins to, to give the length and the width and, and such the height of the ark to Noah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Noah begins to obey. He just begins to do it. Yes. Amen. Which is what you and I are striving to do every day. Amen. Amen. As born again children of God, we should be striving to obey the voice of God, whatever it is he wants us to do. Exactly. Whatever he, crazy thing he tells us yes. to do. You know, I've used this over and over and over. I shared a few weeks ago, I think, with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I've used it over and over, you know, from the pulpit for many years. You know, if God lay, lays it on your heart to go pray for your mayor, get in the car and go down to his office yeah. and pray for him. Amen. Now, Amen. now we sit here and talk with the mayor <laughs> <laughs> who will welcome you to come yes. pray for him anytime. Yes. Yes. Amen. So, so, you know, I'm just saying some crazy thought mm -hmm. that we're thinking, God, why would you ask me to do that? Exactly. That's right. You know, and all the way at the end of the chapter, chapter six, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he tells him to take the, the animals of every living thing, of all flesh, two of every sort, uh, to bring them in the ark of the fowls and the cattle and every creeping thing of the earth after its kind, two mm -hmm. of each one, and, and keep them alive. Take all the food that is needed, gather it together, and it shall be food for you and for them. Mm -hmm. And we know the story, and we know how it ended up that Noah and his family was the only ones on the ark Amen. along the, with the, all the animals. That's right. Amen. And so, uh, but no one else survived. That's right. Because That's right. nobody else followed the word That's and the right. voice That's of right. God. You can't survive not following the, the voice of God. Mm-hmm. You can't survive if God speaks to you and tells you to do something and you buck up against it and say, no, I can't do that. Yes, mm -hmm. you can. Yes. yes. And if you don't, you will not make it. You will not survive. Mm -hmm. We must be obedient to his word. And verse 22, thus did Noah according to all that com God commanded him, so did he. Yes. Will God do it? Yes. He yes, will. he will. Yes. Amen. Whatever and, you're believing God for. And what did God do? To seal his promise, he gave a rainbow. Amen. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he gave a rainbow. So every Amen. time you see a rainbow, think Amen. about him. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Praise him. Amen. We've been right in the middle of Pride Month. Yes. Amen. I'm proud to be a Christian. Amen. I'm proud to know Jesus Amen. Christ as my Savior. Amen. I'm proud for the blood of Jesus Christ being applied to our lives. Yes. Amen. I, I'm not proud for any other thing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Amen. That's the pride that you yes. and I need to have. Hallelujah. Our pride is in Jesus. That's right. That's Amen. Right. That suffered and died for exactly. us and rose again. Yes. Amen. And the way the of the earth's way of going and dealing with pride is wrong. Amen. Amen. Is wrong. Don't mean to offend anyone, no, but the no. truth sometimes offends us. It's right. It's wrong. It's of the devil. It's sin. Amen. To be the a part is, of what the world claims to be pride amen. month. The truth is not judgment. No. It's truth. Amen. The fact is, whatever we think here on earth it's going to be the main thing when we stand yes. before God. I believe this is the Spirit of the Lord ministry. The thing you're going to do when you, when you answer to God, when you stand before God, 
And he, if he asked that, this, these questions about his sign, his rainbow, Amen. okay? Think about this. It makes everything, at the day of judgment, everything in this world don't mean nothing anymore. Amen. You stand before God in the judgment throne. Whether you believe there's a God or not, there is. Amen. Every, every man, every woman is going to stand before God and yes. answer. Amen. Yes. So just be encouraged. It's not Amen. a judgment. Amen. This is a warning. That's right. That when Jesus comes back, there's going to be a day of judgment that we stand before God. Amen. What are you going to have to answer to? Amen. Amen. You know, Brother Rusty, we don't have to judge them. No. Their sin, your sin, yes. already judges you. Absolutely. It's your sin that judges you. Yes. yes. Amen. So just remember that. Amen. And we love you. We've got just yes. down to the last few seconds of the Amen. program. Amen. Amen. We appreciate you. Amen. Again, remember, won't he do won't it? Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Yes. Amen. And Amen. Before, we, before we go sure. off the air, let you, I'm just going to pray real quick. Pray. Sure. We, you know, we're talking about sin. If you want to get rid of that sin, Amen. pray this with me. Father God. Yes, Father God. I believe that Jesus died on the cross. I believe Jesus died on the cross. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. And cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I believe that you, Jesus died on the cross. I believe that Jesus died on the cross. And that you raised him from the dead. And that you raised him from the dead. Now he lives in my heart. Now he lives in my heart. I give you the praise. I give you the praise. I give you the glory. I give you the glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you just prayed that prayer with me just then, with Brother Rusty, amen. I want you to get on the phone, yes. call the number that's on the screen. Yes. Amen. Let us hear from you. Amen. Uh, email us, text us, whatever you got to do to contact us. Amen. Let us hear from you. Amen. And know that we are standing with you, mm -hmm. that yes, he will do it for you. Yes. Amen. Get, be sure, get a coffee cup. Yes. Amen. And then coffee from us. Amen. You're helping us <laughs> yes. uh, reach the world. Literally, the you're world. helping this TV program go around the world. Amen. In fact, let me say this, and I know we got just a few seconds, we just run over, but let me say this. If everyone that has seen the last two promos we did for the coffee cups mm -hmm. on Facebook, we could have already bought the cameras. If they'd, have right. bought, if they'd have bought coffee cups and yes. coffee, yes. we could have already bought the cameras. Amen. Just for, by those that seen it. Yes. Just by those that seen the promo Amen. the last two weeks with, my, with Lisa sitting here with us. Yes. And, and talking about Greg Goberto. Uh, I looked the other day, and just those view, viewers, if they had all donated $25, We'd already bought the cameras. Amen. So that's how close we are. Yes, close. That's how close we are. So do your part. We love yes. you. Amen. We pray for you yes. and ask God to bless you. Amen. Amen. Remember what time it is. Yes. It's, it's time, time to testify. testify. Amen. Amen. God bless, God bless you. you. God bless you. This is Pastor Timothy Randall, the founder of Greater Glory Breakthrough Ministry. You are watching Kingdom News Now. It is time to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Thank you.